In this episode, I'm going to cover the hero animation in my Flutter application. I'll start off from the home page and then navigate to another page all the while showing how the hero animation flies across them. So to get started in this episode, I'm going to cover it by walking through the code that I've already wired up. I won't be handwriting any code in this episode. So to get started in the root material application, I have a home page wired up and one route. And this route is called another page, and I'll come to that in a moment. So if I go to the home page, if I command click on home page, it's a simple home page that is the root route by default. And let's look how it's wired up. I have a scaffold which has an app bar, and this app bar has a simple title. And I have a body, and it has some children and a column. And then I have a floating action bar. So let's look. I have the home page already loaded in the application in the iOS simulator, and it has the floating action bar and the image at the top left. Well, let's look how that image is wired up. So I use a decorated box to wrap a box decoration, and this box decoration wraps a decoration image, and I tell it to fit the width, and then I use an asset image. Well, what is an asset image? Well, if I go over to pubsec.yaml, in this file, I have declared assets. And I said, I have images in a directory, and this, I have a llama.png image. So if I go back to the main.dart, I take this image and feed it to the asset image. Well, it renders as a circle, just like I stated. I could do a rectangle if I wanted. And it's just a simple column widget up there. Okay, so then I take that decorated box and I provide it to the attribute of the child of the hero animation widget. So this hero, if I command click on the hero, I won't cover all the details of, of all the fun things you can do with this widget, except for it talks about how it can fly an animation from one page to another page. And it does all the magic for you. It's pretty cool. So then I tell it what my tag name is. I gave it an arbitrary tag name. In the gallery, it uses the image name. But in this case, I just wanted to show that it could take an arbitrary tag name, and I'll show why that is in a minute. So then I take my hero, and I wrap it in my container, and I give it some height and width so the image does show up on my page, and I provide it to the body of the scaffold. So that's the first page. So what happens on the next page? So if I go to the next page, which I instantiate by when I call, when Navigator calls another page, it uses a function and builds another page. So if I command click and navigate to it, I have another page and it's a simple configuration just like the first page, except it doesn't have a floating action button. It has an, it has an app bar with a simple title and a center widget. What's a center widget? Well, it's going to render in the center of the page. So if I click on center, I can see where I instantiate it. Well, I give the container a larger width and height. And if I look up here, I have the same decorated box. I could have used a constant in this case because it's the same, but I wanted to show how it was wired up in this tutorial. So there's no specific format here except to show how it's wired up. So I have the same asset image used in this context. Well, I wrap that with a hero and I say, give me the same tag name. You can see that both, both pages have the same tag name defined for the hero. Okay, so the hero has the same tag name, which is an arbitrary name. I could have gave the tag name images forward slash llama dot PNG. So I wrapped the decorated box with a hero and I fed it to the center and should center on the page. So what does that look like? So I've already got the application loaded. I loaded it before I started the video, but I wanted to do a walkthrough here and have it all ready. So I'm gonna click on the floating action button. And if I look at the floating action button, I call the navigator and I say, push name, go to the other page. So I'm gonna hit on the action button. So what happens? There we go. Did you see the flying animation? So if I go back, there we go. The animation goes right back up to the place. And the way those two pages are connected or the way the two hero widgets are connected is through the definition of the tag. So I declared the tag with the same name. So if I, I set this and I hit hot reload, I called this tag different. You can see that it will break the hero animation. 
there we go so it just has a center and a top so if I replace that hero animation I can hit run again hot reload and there we go let's see there we go there's the animation superhero animation is flying from one page to the other page and all the magic is taken care of in the API so this concludes the episode on the hero animation thanks for watching follow me for more tips and tricks and I'll catch you later